GamesWeasel.com Review Virtua Tennis is back, and if you're expecting anything truly brand new with this 2009 rendition, then you're going to be a little bit disappointed, I'm afraid. Yes, we know that Virtua Tennis is an almost perfect arcade tennis game, which of course is very easy to pick up and play, but also possible to master if you play it enough, letting you beat all in your path. However, for me, the series hasn't moved on enough since VT3 to be worthy of a purchase. That is, of course, unless you haven't bought the last one, then maybe it is worth a look. The first thing you're invited to do when you switch the game on is to make a player with some improved editing tools to change the facial features, body type and playstyle of your player. Then you're presented with the globe that's all too familiar, where you can scroll to tournaments, rest at home or play mini games that improve your skills. Now if you're already a good Virtua Tennis player, unfortunately the tournament mode is going to bore you beyond belief as you smash your way through easy opponents until you eventually reach the star players such as Nadal, Federer, Sharapova and Murray, but then when you do play them it just seems that they hit back everything you throw at them because of course the console knows exactly where you're hitting the ball when you play it. Also the player models look good but when making expressions they do look like they'd be made by Skynet or something when they pull robotic celebration faces. Graphically it is a shame things haven't moved on in two years when you see the level of detail games such as UFC have gone to. Strangely the mini games can actually be more fun than playing tennis. There are games where you have to sink pirate ships, games where where you earn combos for smashing coloured bricks out of a wall and a pool game to play amongst others. There's also a weird game where you have to run over piles of money which you can spend in the shop whilst avoiding large tennis balls which doesn't work so well at all. It's a pity loading times also slow things down a bit between these short rounds as well. The most fun you'll have with VT is always in multiplayer. You can play singles and doubles and of course take it online but do be warned players who are already practiced can take their maxed out custom character online and will spank you into the middle of next week if you're a noob. Oh and it's also not a good idea to have the charisma deficient Tim Henman to tell you what to do. Let's be honest, he was never that good in the first place. This game's still fun, but you get the feeling Sega should mix things up a bit more next time. Virtual Tennis 2009 gets a good, but slightly disappointing, 6 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com